All right, here we are at Mr. Deal's video game store located in Albany, New York. And we're going to head inside and check this game store out and see how cool it is, Mr. Deal's. And right away, I was blown away by how many, how much retro game stuff was here. You know, oh, look at it. We got tons of Switch games right here. I love Nintendo Switch. So if you want to buy some uh, Nintendo Switch games, well, here you go. There's a whole bunch of Switch games available at Mr. Deals. Uh, definitely a huge selection. Check that out. And uh, right up there you have uh, PS5 or PS4 games. Maybe both PS4 games. Tons and tons of games. There's like walls and walls of games in this place. And uh, straight ahead there you got one of the cool employees right there. Very friendly staff. And you got some handheld games right there. You got Game Boy Advance, Game Boy, PS Vita, all kinds of stuff. And over here, this caught my attention. Yeah, look at this. You got an orange N64, a Sports Edition Dreamcast, GameCube, Sega CD. You got all kinds of cool stuff on the bottom right there. Uh, a Neo Geo right there. Is that? Wow. They got all kinds of stuff. Now, I have to watch this video a couple of times just to see everything. Like, There's so much stuff here. You got a wall of PS2 games. So if you're into collecting PS2 games, well... You're more than likely you're going to find what you want here. And look right here. You have a mountain of NES games right here. Snugged tightly inside of a nice glass case display. And a very, very cool selection of NES games. I mean, look at that. I definitely want to pick me up some NES games. And look at this. You get some PS1 games. Some very, very cool selection of PS1 games. Uh, just about every great PS1 game is inside this building right here. And we have some 3DS, DS, and probably all kinds of uh, handheld games for the uh, Nintendo consoles right here, like the uh, DS and the uh, 3DS, as you can see. And you got a, I like the stuff they have on top of the shelves right here. You got a boxed Xbox and PS1 and an NES console right there, two NES consoles. That's incredible. And over here... Look at that. You have a box NES and an Odyssey and another box NES. You have a Dreamcast and 64 And a, a box Odyssey. You don't see that every day. That's quite obscure and rare. <laughs> Just look at that. That is crazy. And uh, that is, even a box Dreamcast. I mean, you don't see that every day. And just look around the store. This store is pretty cool. And I like the shelves. The shelves remind me of like the old like Walmart or Best Buy shelves. You have the little uh, banners on top for Nintendo and Sega and PlayStation. Looks like you have some Xbox games right here. You have a wall of Xbox games right here. And you'll see what I'm talking about. With the uh, They have an Xbox 360 banner on top. Very, very cool. Very well organized. Uh, definitely... One of the largest retro gaming stores I've seen in person in New York State. Uh, they had probably twice the amount of uh, inventory than any other retro gaming store I've ever seen. It's like very, very large amount of retro games. Very, very impressive. And uh, if you're into collecting the Xbox games, well, here you go. And a, a huge amount of stuff on the top of the shelves right here. And look at that. They actually have a NES... Deluxe edition with Rob the Robot. I mean, you don't you don't see that every day in a box. That's very very cool. And look at that. you got the N sixty four. You got the Super Nintendo in the box. You got Wii games right here, Wii U games right over here on the left side. And you got TVs. You got electronics. Uh, they even have retro audio equipment here. So if you love retro audio equipment, well, you're gonna find it here. Uh, here's something that you guys should start collecting. Uh, some Good old retro Wii games, because these games are, are going to start going up in price. Uh, you can definitely find some good deals here in Mr. Deals for Wii games. And look, you got a bunch of GameCube games, and whoa, am I seeing what I think I'm seeing? No way. A VIC-20 and an Atari 2600 in the box. That's insane. <laughs> look at this. Let's get a little closer here. An Atari 2600 and a VIC-20 in a box. And look at this. You got even a Wii U and a Super Nintendo and an N64 in a box. This is 
Gamer's Heaven. You got some uh, NES games in a box, GameCube games, uh, a whole wall of boxed Nintendo games ranging from N64, Super Nintendo, NES, all kinds of crazy stuff here. You got a wall of Sega games over there as well. And uh, look down there, you have more boxed NES games, N64 games, uh, Super Nintendo games. You have some Sega Saturn box games over on that side. Boxed Genesis games right there. And it looks like you have some uh, even car audio equipment. You have a mountain of PlayStation games. And over on the far left side right there, you even see a little peek of uh, Sega CD games. They're in the box. And this is a huge mountain of PlayStation games. And what do we have here? It looks like we have Atari games. Look at that. You even have Atari Jaguar games right there on the bottom. And check that out. You have some uh, Atari 2600 games right there on top. And you have uh, all kinds of cool stuff here. Even microphones, car audio stuff like I mentioned before. And uh, even here, you got action figures. If you guys want to buy some awesome action figures, well, Mr. Neils has them right here in the store. It's pretty cool looking stuff. And I, I honestly, I love the store. The next time I'm in the area, I'm going to actually shop here again because I was... Pretty much looking for Sega Genesis games, and if you guys like Star Wars, well, you're in for a treat. Check out these huge Star Wars action figures, or statues, whatever you want to call them. They're they're much bigger than action figures, and here is what I came in here for: the Sega Genesis games. I picked up a few Sega Genesis games, and just look at how many Sega Genesis games are available to purchase. Check this out. It's a large quantity of Sega Genesis games going all the way up to the ceiling. It's insane. And if you guys are looking for Vita games, PSP games, and Game Gear games, well, Mr. Deals has all that stuff available for you right here. Tons and tons of stuff. Quite the large quantity of uh, retro games in this store. Uh, very, very impressed. And here we have uh, more NES games. It's like two different sections of NES games, and here's another section right here. Very awesome. Alright guys, let's check out what we bought over at Mr. Deals Video Games. And uh, this store is located, once again, over in uh, near Albany, New York. The capital of New York, and this might be the capital of video retro video game stores in New York State. This is definitely... Uh, Probably the coolest retro gaming store in New York State I've ever been in. Because it had a very large quantity of uh, retro games. It had uh, vintage old audio equipment. It had all kinds of cool stuff. And the store was probably twice as big as a normal retro gaming store. And um, the inventory that, that this uh, Mr. Deal's... Uh, video game store I had was quite large. They had even more stuff in the back, which I did not see. Uh, but they definitely had a huge quantity of stuff that they were ready. To, like, it was insane. And uh, I love the store. The store gets a thumbs up right away. I definitely love it. Highly recommend it, Mr. Deal's Video Games near Albany, Albany, New York. So if you're like in the Vermont area, Massachusetts, Connecticut, New York area, you can shop there easily. Might be a little bit of a drive, but it's worth it. This store has some awesome stuff. Let's show off what I got here. We got Desert Strike for the Sega Genesis. Very clean cartridge. And you know what? When when I bought the cartridges, they actually they were cleaning everything right there before they sent me home with it. So they made sure the contacts were clean. Very professional. Very good job. Uh, not only were the games priced decently, fairly... Uh, nothing was overpriced at all. Everything was priced fairly based on market value. So, you know, the prices will go up and down. Um, he did mention that to me. So, there, if you see anything in the video whatsoever where the prices are priced a certain way, uh, it may not be that price tomorrow. It may not be that price. It, may, it might go up. It might go down. Who knows? But uh, he basically, let's say if this game... It's twenty dollars. If it's worth twenty dollars today, and let's say if it goes down to fifteen tomorrow, he's not going to screw you over. He's going to give it to you for fifteen. 
So that's something I definitely like about this uh, dude that runs this place. He uh, does a great job keeping a close eye on the uh, quantity and the uh, inventory that he has in his uh, store. And he prices everything fairly. And the prices are good. Uh, I definitely, I love, you know, what I bought here. Uh, so I got also Jungle, Jungle Strike. Uh, I did not run into Urban Strike. I'm pretty sure he had it there, but I just did not run into it. Otherwise, I probably would have picked that up as well. But uh, we got Jungle Strike, Urban Strike. Uh, Jungle Strike, Desert Strike, that is. Uh, some classic EA cartridges with the uh, yellow tabs. Very, very cool. And I ran into this, and I thought this was pretty cool. We got Vector Man for the Sega Genesis, which I did not have. And very, very clean. Very, very clean. Look at this label. This looks very, very mint condition. So uh, these these cartridges are very, very good shape. And we also ran into Vector Man 2. Very clean. Loose copy for the Sega Genesis. And I've been collecting a lot of Sega Genesis games as of lately. And uh, the next couple things I bought were for the Sega Master System. So let's take a look at what we have here. We have a Cyborg Hunter, a box copy of Cyborg Hunter for the Sega Master System. And you can, you can, you can tell I paid $34.99 for that one, but you know, that's a very good price for that game. So like I said, these games, everything that I bought today was around maybe $100 altogether. Uh, with the addition of the other thing that I'm going to show off. So, Cyborg Hunter, we're going to open up the case right here. Very, very clean label. Uh, the manual is not there, but who cares? Uh, if the manual is included, that, the price would have been a lot more than that. So, you know, the, the value on a complete inbox game goes up drastically. Um, if... The, um, the manual is included, which uh, at the moment, as you can see here, I don't have enough room for too many Sega Genesis games, except for maybe a little few spots right there. So I've, I've been buying loose copies of games right there. And, and as, as you can see right here, my Sega Master System games, this is where I have them, all right here, like stacked on the floor. Uh, these are the ones I did videos on, by the way. These are ones I didn't do videos on. So this is how, basically how, how I have them organized at the moment. It's a big mess. But that's how it is. So let's go back over here. Alright, we got Cyborg Hunter. Very, very cool. In the box. Activation game for the Sega Master System. It's a game I did not have. Don't know too much about the game, but I definitely wanted to buy that game in the past. I remember when I was collecting Master System games quite a bit, I wanted to pick that one up, and it cost it quite a bit. You know, it was a pretty good deal. So, the next thing I ran into is a peripheral. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you guys take a guess what it is, just by hearing that noise. If you guessed a light gun, you are correct. Alright, here we go. We have the... A light phaser for the Sega Master System. And this is something that I've been waiting to get for a long time. So I haven't had one of these before. And I, every time I try to get one, I always have bad luck trying to find one. Uh, one time I tried to buy one on, a, on another website. And they told me I bought it. And they told me they, ne they actually never had it. There is a little bit of a hole right here. But that shouldn't really affect anything. And uh, yeah. This is pretty cool. You don't run into these every day. And he actually had all this stuff readily available um, in his inventory. Which is incredible that you can actually just walk into a store and buy one of those. That's incredible. So, uh, Mr. Deals Video Games near Albany, New York. Hell yeah, you get a thumbs up. That, that store is pretty awesome. Uh, definitely enjoyed walking around that store. If I head up that direction again, I am going to stop by... And buy more video games from that guy. Uh, I love the store. I love the uh, 
the large quantity of games that are available, like retro games. I love the Atari 2600 in the box that you had, like, up on the shelf. He had a ton of boxed consoles, like, just sitting up there, and he had N64, all kinds of stuff. Uh, such a cool, great quantity of video games. Uh, you guys have to go shop at Mr. Deal's Video Games if you're in the upstate Albany, New York area. Mr. Deal's Video Games... What a great video game store!